pulled out the old quarter line up here. I have to make this hole a little bigger. And we have some Sarchuse Creeping Jenny with some emerald green ivy uh, trailing over the side. And the, uh, the Creeping Jenny will trail also, but it's nice to have this ivy already trailing. So we pulled out the, the old quarter line from last year. It's all dried up. This is definitely done. That was done. And here's the one from the other side. So those quarter lines are through. We're going to replace them with these. And look at that. Nice. I was about to change this soil out, but looking at how pretty the uh, Creeping Jenny and Ivy are, I'm going to say the soil is really good. It looks nice and, and rich looking. So what I'm just going to make the hole bigger to fit that quarter line in, then I'll come back with some, uh, some water soluble fertilizer. Hold on, first I'll put in some slow release. get this hole big enough usually when I plant I like to dig the hole twice the size but that uh, twice the when I go twice the size on a uh, a hole for planting that's when I'm putting in some good soil and we already have that here uh, she pulled out some of the uh, creeping Jenny that was hanging uh, hanging down in the hole and as full as it is we can we can um sacrifice a few for the cause and there we go look at that quarter line is in place and that hole was like almost just right got some other soil that she's gonna put in there to secure it then we'll come back with some miracle grow gonna mix up some of the blue stuff and get this thing going because uh we already have root competition in there with the creeping jenny and i just want to make sure everybody gets enough uh nutrients she's snipping off the lowest uh fronds or anything that may be touching the soil to uh, prevent rot because that moisture that when that thing start rotting then that encourages pest but we very rarely have any problems with pest with the quarter lines and it looks better okay Okay, we get a twofer on this. We get to see the quarter line put in and enjoy the pansies at the same time. Look at this, this is the Matrix Orange. <laughs> Unstoppable, these are going into the spring light <laughs> like it's a normal thing. Boom, we got the blue in there. It's purple. Well, purple. And of course, the accent white. A little bit of soil on it, but that doesn't take away from the glamour of it. Look at that white. Big petals and showing off as usual. So as you step back and look at the whole pot, bam, we get the twofer. You got the big pot, the um quarter line and you have an update on what's going on on the porch with these tall, tall pots with the lantern and this is one of our highlight uh, pansies here the blue and white uh, purple and white I'm gonna get the tag for these and 
I mean, I've been really enjoying these because, I mean, hey, how can you not enjoy them? Okay. Porch update. Well, these are your two. Um, two pots with the lanterns. Uh, Kimberly Queen pots beside each one. Let me turn this lamp uh, light off. There you go. The Kimberly Queens. Oh, this is coming out. And let's not forget the little pot. We may just go ahead and pull these uh, pansies on out. Um, I hate to get rid of them, but it's time. They've done what they were going to do this year, and I'm not mad at all. Not mad at all. So I'm going to cut her a little circle in the middle. I'm going to cut all the way around the diameter of the pot. Ordinarily, I would cut it twice the size and put good soil in. But since the soil is already good, we have a slow release uh, fertilizer in there that uh, fertilizes every time you water. She's going to loosen those roots so they don't continue to go in a circle and just drop it. I'm going to put that in. Then we're going to try to get these hostas in before it starts raining. It's drizzling right now. And we're getting a lot of stuff done today. I'm happy with these quarter lines because... I mean, you get height on your pots, you can add other plants in, or let them go as a standalone. But for us, on something like this, we're going to have something else in here, probably just a trailer, or just uh, something that uh, will fill this pot in, and we'll also have something trailing over the side. Okay, this here is our uh, candy tough ring going around this tree. We've been working on this for uh, several years, probably like three years now. Um, they've been growing in, and then when they come in the following year, some spots don't come back. But uh, we've been working with the soil, and I think we got it right this time. So... We're finally about to get a complete ring around this tree of uh, candy tufts. Nice cluster blooms of crisp uh, white and green. And when they're not blooming, you get a nice texture of green all the way around. So along with this ring, we're gonna add some hostas. So I'm gonna go around and put these in. We'll be uh, planting them right where they're laying. And that's what I'm gonna do. The mulch is really thin, but I'm gonna pull it back. Pull this mulch back. Get my hold up. There's uh, some root competition in here. So, what I'm going to do is get it dug out. The soil looks pretty good, but I'm going to get it even better. Put in our, our soil amendments. And I'm going to put these hostas like this. Mm -hmm. And boom. There you go. I put them, put the stem... Uh, growth points together uh, back to back so that it is full all the way around and this leaf here was damaged so I'm just gonna clip that off and clip off this other stress leaf then put the mulch back in place and I'll go around to the next got my bucket of soil here good stuff This is gonna be quick and easy. I have my 
hostas. I'm gonna put them back to back like this. See how I put these backs together? So that you have leaves pointing in different directions. So once it starts growing, it's going to have a full hosta pointing, uh, leaf pointing in all directions. Lay that to the side. I probably could have went with a small one because I have one here and one here. See how dark this soil is? And there is some sand uh, mixed in with the soil to keep it drainable. And I'm just gonna make it better with some more soil. So I will open it up and make room for the host. Clipping off anything that's not complete or stressed to divert the energy to the rest of the plant. See, we got plenty of roots here. And she's ready to go. Boom. Put that in like that. Okay. And you see that, that soil right there? And I come back with my mulch. And it looks like it's been there all the time. How's that look, Jan? Very nice. Okay. We'll go to the next one. Same thing. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of our videos and hit the notification bell so that you know when they're being posted.